Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Tuesday's Live Stitch Out. I hope everybody is doing well and excited for our first stitch out of October. Oh my goodness, how is it October? I cannot believe it. Whew, I don't know where this year went, but we are in full blown holiday gift giving prep. Okay, and that's what we are doing today. I am so, so excited. So this, uh, this month is extra special. Okay, we are gonna be stitching a design a week out of our holiday extravaganza. Holiday extravaganza. Yes, that's how I say it because it sounds extravagant. The holiday extravaganza embroidery workshop curriculum. So this is fairly an older curriculum that we used to teach and travel uh, to the events. Uh, this was, I believe, created, I want to say 2014, possibly 15. Definitely before all access. This is an oldie but goodie. And what it's going to be, or what comes in this curriculum, as it flops around on me, is a whole bunch of um, projects that you can make in the hoop, perfect for the holiday season. So you're going to have a lot of options to gift these items or to create them and use them um, for home decor. So I'm going to read to you some of the uh, designs that are in this holiday extravaganza workshop. Okay, we have tissue box cover, garland, we have 3D flowers, we have zipper bags, we have a 3D angel ornament, we have lace ornament covers, gift card holders, stocking gifts, and card holders. Okay, so lots and lots of great things. And today we're kicking off October with making um, our gift card holders. So how cute are these? I have two samples here. So this one that we're making today live says a gift for you. And then when you open it up, you can see the inside and then it has a little elastic in here to hold the gift card. So it just makes a really nice gift. We know a lot of times now, um, if you're gifting for the kitties, whether they're younger or teenagers, um, you know, they always say, I just want a gift card and you it's no fun right you want to still make them something special so here is a keepsake gift card um, and then i know a lot of families have traditions where they gift like one gift and then somebody else is like responsible for it last year so this would be a great one um, to personalize as well and then the other design that we're not stitching today but you would receive in your um, curriculum says you are on the nice list and I needed somebody to remind me that I'm on the nice list and not the naughty list. So, um, but yeah, so this is what we are stitching today, okay? Now, this curriculum, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the curriculum in general um, because I am the lucky person who's the first person to stitch something out from this, uh, this month. But as I mentioned, every Tuesday this month, in the month of October, we're choosing a different design from the curriculum. So it is typically a $99 curriculum, um, and we have it on sale for $34.95. So it's a huge discount. It's a great time um, to start getting some of your Christmas and holiday uh, gifts or decor going. All right, don't procrastinate. We know we have a lot of UFOs from last year already. Unfinished projects, right? So we got to get those going. All right, so here we go. $34.95, you can find this on anitagooddesign.com. As always with our Tuesday stitch outs, if you are a first timer, you've never stitched with us before, you're in the right place. I have some lovely ladies behind camera helping me out. I have Madison here doing all the camera lady work. And then I have Drea on uh, the other side of the computer. And she is here to answer any of your questions that you may have regarding just Anita Good Design or of course the project that we are stitching today. So with no further ado, if we are ready, ladies, anything I need to start with before? Any questions? Okay, lots of excitement and enthusiasm. Let's get it going. Okay, now I'm going to go quickly through some of um, the notions and things that you need. So I have a piece of batting. I, of course, have my fabric. Um, I picked some holiday fabric out here. Um, you'll need some tape because we're working on the back of the hoop. 
a piece of elastic, and then of course my holiday festive colored threads, some bobbin uh, pre-wound to a color that I want to match my, my red fabric to. Um, and then it gives you the option in the directions of wash away stabilizer or tear away stabilizer. And a lot of times with the Need a Good Design designs, um, we give you that option because there's never usually one typical way. There's a way we suggest, um, but either or work today, I am using tear away stabilizer in my hoop. So um, I have two sets of directions that come in the holiday extravaganza, which I absolutely love. We have our machine numbered steps and then our pictured step by steps. Um, and this is a digital download, what you see in front of me here, um, so that I can show you what I'm referring to is we just printed it off the printer, but of course, if you want to save paper, save printing ink, this works wonderfully on your iPad laptop computer as well, okay? We typically don't print, but when we want to refer to things to show you all at home what we're talking about, we do some printing for you, okay? So here we go, we're off. I have my uh, thread, my, yep, there it is, my words, my thread threaded. It's in a little bit of a darker color. I'm using red here just so that you can see a little bit easier at home. And of course you have my lovely uh, view here so you all can see in the hoop and exactly what's happening. So the first stitch that we are, are going to do here is the placement stitch. This is gonna show you the entire size um, of the gift card. It is laid open and flat. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my piece of batting. Now, the batting is what's gonna make this soft and a little cushiony, um, and as always, we like to give you all tips and tricks here. If you don't want it cushiony, you want it just a little bit kind of flatter, um, then by all means, you don't have to add the batting. You can always skip that step. So here we go. I hope everybody's having a lovely beginning to their October. We are officially in fall season here in Charlotte. It is, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina is where we are stationed here for those of you that are new and joining us. And I also have to shout out any of my friends who were at my event in Ohio this past weekend. Hello, my friends from Barnes. I hope everybody's doing well. I get to not only do these wonderful live studio, uh, studio sessions with you all, but I also get to travel um, and teach classes that are being held. And I was just in Ohio, and I had a couple friends there who were saying, oh, we love to watch all the Tuesday lives. So we thank you all for joining us. We will continue to do these um, in into November and December as well. We may have a couple weeks where we cancel around, not cancel, just we won't have one, uh, but we'll let you know just with the holidays. I believe the week of Thanksgiving we won't have one um, and the week or two around Christmas and New Year's, but we'll keep you posted. Uh, but we are gonna continue doing these lives because as I mentioned when we first started, tis the season. We are full blown into making some uh, gifts. We have to start thinking about our lists and then we keep hearing about this shipping shortage stuff that's happening that it's gonna take extra long to get our gifts in. So if you have to ship gifts, better make them now, get them shipped out. Okay, so we have a placement stitch for our very first fabric um, and there is the second fabric or applique that we're adding is going to be a folding fabric, but the first piece is like a regular piece of applique. So we have our placement stitch here. I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to place it on top covering all sides here. So you can see nice and flat again because I got this great close up. Here's my placement stitch so that I can see where I'm placing my top fabric. I'm going to place it completely on top. Let me, there we go might help a little bit and then I'm gonna tack that down in place okay so I am if you are following along with me at home I am on step 4 of 17 so it's telling me to tack down 
And then I want to trim my applique. And I also need to look at my, my steps too, my pictured steps. Make sure I'm, I'm doing you all right, okay? So now after this is done, my tack down stitch, I will then trim out all of the fabric and it's going to be tight all the way around. No seam allowance on this one. All right. What kind of projects is everybody working on at home? Or what are you planning? What's on your holiday gift giving list? These really do come in handy because they're fairly quick. They are definitely not a difficult project and they don't take a very long time either. So this would be a great option. Again, if you have to, or if you plan on giving some gift cards, this is a great option to still personalize, put a special zhuzh and touch of yourself on there, right? So they know exactly who gave them these gifts. Okay. Any, any good projects people are working on yet, ladies? Anything that we're hearing? Ooh, the snowman dangler towels. Those are the cute new towels just released in October. Those are adorable. Love that. That's a great gift or home decor, even if it's for yourself. I'd keep it for yourself. It's so darn cute. Halloween projects. Yes, tis the season. Us witches like to run amok. No, I'm just joking. I'm not a witch. Sometimes. Oh, the Art Deco Muses. Oh, we have some fun projects people are working on. I'm impressed. Okay. Wow. Shirts and coasters, Christmas cards. We do have a lot of projects. I love it. You all are working, working, working. Okay. Now, so let's take a close look. I'm going to have Madison, if you'll do the, the zoom zoom. All right. So we're, at, we're on the zoom zoom look here. So now we just ran our second placement stitch. And this is going to be the first folded fabric that we place. So this is showing you this line, that placement stitch, is where you're placing your fabric. Okay, so it's right sides down. My, my red is my right side up. Okay, so I'm doing it right side down. And I want to go about a quarter inch over. And then we call this very next stitch a folding stitch. And what this folding stitch is going to do is it's going to tack down the fabric, okay, which is going to allow us to then fold the fabric. So let's take a look. Here is that, what we're calling the folding stitch. And then we're going to take this fabric, we're going to fold it as soon as it trims. Here we go. Ta-da! And then look at this. I have this beautiful folded fabric here. I'm going to do a, a nice tight finger crease because of course we don't want what I like to call bubbly fabric where it is not tight. We want it nice and smooth and then of course for best practice we're going to add a piece of tape down here too and that's also going to like triple assure me that I have a nice smooth fabric. So here we go, pull it taut and let's just tape this bottom. Now, <clears throat> This next stitch of my folding stitch is going to tack down the entire folded fabric. All right, here we go. I'm so excited about this. I really think you're going to love the designs in the holiday extravaganza. It is fantastic. There's ornaments. There is, like I said, gift card holders and a couple different gift card holders on here as well the tissue boxes that come in here. It's really cute tissue box covers. Now those ones take a little bit longer so we're not able to stitch those ones live, but they are adorbs. They're so cute. Yes, Dre, we have a question. Can you tell us what's on the back of the fabric? What is on the back of my fabric? Oh, look at you all are so smart, you noticed. So what the question was, what is on the back of my fabrics that I'm using? So we love to back our fabric here at Need a Good Design, and we use an 860 Pelon Weft fusible backing. Um, and we, we do that, now wait, as I'm, I'm gonna chat and educate, but I'm just trimming all of my excess fabric out while we do that, okay? Why do we back our fabrics? Well, a lot of times in your projects, um, I know sometimes if there is a lot of stitching, 
your fabric sometimes can pucker or wrinkle and that annoys us because we tend to be perfectionists um, in, in our art form, right? So a lot of times what I hear you all do when that happens is you like to float an extra piece of stabilizer and that's fine to do. But when you think about the job of the stabilizer is the job of the stabilizer is to stabilize the threads, right? Well, the job of your fusible pellon weft is to stabilize your fabric. So that is just a nicer way to not add bulk to your fabric and to still assist with, with keeping, uh, making your fabric strong. It's essentially adding another thin layer without adding the bulk to your fabric. So we use a fusible backing. You do not have to use 860 Pellon weft. If you have something else that you prefer, that is of course fine as well. But I do love that you all noticed that. Okay, I spy with my little eye that you all notice everything. Okay, so let's see here. Now, we added our, our fabric. Okay, so the next steps are going to be to run our embroidery designs. So this is a great part because we just get to have fun here and let it stitch. And then I can talk to you about some other things going on. So I'm going to change my thread color. And let's see here. We have our little acorns it looks like. So I'm going to use a brown. All right, so I think, any other questions right now, Drea? Ooh, good question. So we had a question um, by somebody that said, could you use Velcro instead of a button in the buttonhole? And I'm going to say absolutely, 100% you could. You would just want to skip the step where the buttonhole um, satin stitch comes in. You would just want to skip that so you didn't have kind of that sitting there. And then you would just have to hand sew or machine sew your, your Velcro. On, but there's no reason why you couldn't, for sure. All right, so let's talk about our flash sale. Let's talk about our flash sale. So we have this adorable collection, and it is called Wild Eyed Critters, okay? And holy cannolis. Look at this quilt. Now, what is special about this quilt? First of all, it was released in 2018, um, and I'm going to have my ladies make sure that they tell me what month in 18? Sorry, it's, I have a cheat sheet back here. May of 18, it was released in May of 18. Look at, they were able to find it so quick, I shouldn't have even have given away my secrets here. So Wild Eyed Critter Quilt, released in May of 2018. Now I'm gonna tell you a story about this collection. It is really, really a beautiful, oh, we're gonna get a, a zoom in effect here. There we go, look at this, I love it. Okay, so this is a really fun, fun collection. It's little animals in our quilt blocks, and then the eyes, let's see if I can kind of show you this, are three-dimensional. So you stitch, oh, perfect, right there, Madison. You stitch them three-dimensionally, so you stitch them in a different hooping, and then we give you the directions on how to attach them to the block. All right, they have, it's kind of, now this is hard to see no matter what you do. We have this beautiful um, echo stitching that goes around each and every animal. All right, really adorable. This is a great one for the kids or just the animal lover, um, but you could have a lot of fun with this. Now I'm gonna tell you about this collection. This is my story that I wanted to fill you in on, is that this collection was released and with the way the artwork was drawn and the way the 3D eyes looked, we gave it a very 70s kind of sh cool vibe. We used like kind of burnt oranges and greens and we used, it was kind of like a suede fabric, wasn't it, Drea? Like a suede fabric. It looked great, but, and you all tell me this when you look at, see these in person, it just didn't translate well. So the pictures and the photographs on the collection just kind of came out okay. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to stitch it in all new colors for you all so that you could really appreciate how cute this collection is. And it really is. And what I love about this collection is it's great 
for boys or girls if you're doing room decor with it or if you're just making a kid's quilt. Um, this we used in this one purples um, and pinks, but if you did black, white, and grays, or if you did navies and light blues, all would be adorable. Um, but uh, we all here who, <laughs> who work in Adina, when I restitch this in different colors, we're like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe this is even the same collection. And the best part about this is it's 50% off until Sunday, until the end of the week. And what is that sale price? It's 50% off. I think it, I believe it, is it normally $34.95? Um, it is a quilting collection. I'm going to tell, before I tell you the price, I'm going to have my ladies look that up for me. But it is 50% off regardless. It is a great, great collection. There's not, other than your base fabric, there's no applique. It's pretty much straight embroidery. The eyes are stitched out again in a second hooping. It's a full collection. So it's normally $69.95. That 50% off, $34.95. Like, now's the time. How cute. Everybody needs to get this. So you can get, again, your holiday extravaganza, this is on sale for $34.95 until the end of the month, until the end of October, because we're stitching through this every Tuesday for all of October. This guy, my 3D critters, my wild-eyed critters, this is on sale until 50% off until the end of the week. So don't wait on this one, because it's a great one. Now I've got to show you, oh, we're still stitching here. We're still stitching, we're having fun. I'm just changing my threads. I'm following my one, two, three steps here and my machine to just kind of take a look. I have my Christmas trees coming up next. Woo, this is gonna be cute. Somebody is gonna be lucky with this gift card holder. They're gonna love it. Um, but I have to show you, we have a creative team here and they stitch all of our projects out and they do a lovely job. And I tasked my one friend, Stefano, my coworker, and I said, I want you to run my, my wild-eyed critters for me. I want you to, to run them in, in some fun, bright fabrics and threads. Woo! He took that, very literal. And we got like disco wild-eyed critters here. Look at, at this. Put on your sunglasses. So he really got excited about when I said bright colors, and somehow it's so bright that it somehow works. So he took it upon himself, he used neon threads, he also used variegated threads. There is some metallic threads in here. We have some shiny metallic fabrics for the eyes as well. Um, he had a good old time with this, but I guarantee you there's somebody who would love this. So look at he really got really wild with it. Um, but you know, sometimes you need to pull out those threads and those fabrics. And it's one of those things that you say to yourself, I, I don't ever use this thread color, I never like it. And then with the right project, it comes out perfect. So wild eyed critters, 50% off till the end of the week. Don't forget about them. They like it, you all like, you like the, the wild ones, Stefano's wild and crazy one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Listen, we love it. it get, listen, sometimes we just have to get our day glow threads out and have some fun and have some fun. All right, I think with all this jibber jabber, it is time to have a giveaway. So we are going to have a contest for a $20 virtual gift card from Anita Good Design. And I am going to have my ladies pick somebody at random. So you have to type the word neon in order you know to celebrate stefano and his bright threats so type the word neon you only have to type it one time and we will pick a winner at random for a 20 dollars virtual gift card all right so i'll give everybody a minute you get that neon in i hope you all are stitching this with me all right now oh i'll wait because i know everyone's waiting and concentrating trying to get that neon in there's a lot popping up. Oh man, we're trying to win this gift card, right? Lots of great stuff coming up at Anita Good Design too. I understand why you want this gift card. If you have not seen October's latest releases, whoo! Now as a lot of you know, at Anita Good Design, we love to celebrate the holidays 
and July and October are our Christmas heavy months. So October just released our newest collections and we have some great Christmas collections in there. So you don't want to miss out. We have embellished Christmas. That's our large release for the holiday season. Beautiful, beautiful quilting. We have, as somebody had mentioned, they are stitching out our uh, dangler towels for the Christmas time. Those are so cute. Uh, little, little legs are added onto your decorative tea towels with buttons. Oh, they're so cute. Lots of good stuff. Do we have a winner? Linda Frost. It's Frost. F Faust. Sorry, Miss Linda. Miss Linda, I apologize. You are a winner. You are a winner. So if you will email customer experience, we will get that out to you so you can do your shopping. Miss Linda is on here all the time. I'm so excited that you are our random winner. You, you deserve it. You've been putting in some time with us here at Anita Good Design. So we always love and appreciate our customers. Thank you so much, by the way, for coming. For those of you that this is your first Tuesday with us, thank you, thank you so much for being here. That means somebody probably t either told you about it or you read about it um, fr through our emails or our campaigns, so thank you. If you all have friends that love to stitch out and, and you think would enjoy a live stitch out, please spread the word. Uh, you know, we have seen a lot of people start to join us each week, and that's wonderful. That allows us to continue to do these. It is always our hope, but we can't teach these classes if nobody shows up. You have to be here with us at, at 1.30 on Tuesdays, Eastern time, of course. So keep coming, but spread the word. We really, really appreciate it um, and your loyalty and all you, you do to support us so that we can do uh, and participate with the with you all really and come into your house virtually okay still still just changing threads over here all my decorative stitching coming in let's see here this is more little bulbs let's let's change this color oh my gosh so what are we all right, I know we talked about what we're making for Christmas time are we doing any fun projects creating anything beautiful for Thanksgiving or fall do we have any good fall or Thanksgiving Day projects that we're working on? I, I need to know because I'm really slacking on my holiday projects all around. I really, I really am. I don't know what's happening to me, but I am neglecting my homemade projects. So I need some inspiration here. Look at how cute. This is really coming out cute. I'm really excited about this. Yes. Look at how adorable this is, and this fabric's really pretty. This is pretty fantastic over here. All right, do we have any questions? Do you all have any questions about holiday extravaganza? Anything going on with Anita right now? We have so much fun stuff coming out. We have some new, new, new products coming out. We have our sewing single line. Let's talk about sewing single. So we have started to come out with single designs. And that's really because of you all, because our customers had said to us over the years, I want to buy one design. I wish I could buy one design. I need something tiny for a onesie, but you don't sell any single designs. Well, we have started. We have heard you, and we wanted to bring you exactly what you want, and that is single designs. So we have an entire new collection called sewing singles and these designs are coming in fairly small sizes they do typically come in three different sizes and you can pick the ones that you want they come in all machine formats and they're fairly inexpensive they're anywhere from I think a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine upwards depending on the size and the type of design so make sure you check out sewing singles do we have any other questions, my friends? Oh, tell me about the fall ideas. Lots of fall ideas. Oh, the stuffed acorns. Yes, towel toppers. Oh, yep, lots of masks. We still, how cute though. We can definitely customize some masks. Oh, the crazy turkey quilt. That's a really fun one. 
also, which reminds me, if you have to uh, have to make a hostess gift, uh, in our Stitchin' in the Kitchen design pack, there is a travel um, casserole, casserole dish holder that is really, really nice. We give you all the directions on how to make it. It's essentially made with quilt blocks. And then we show you how to add the handles and the Velcro and everything else. But that would be a wonderful hostess gift. Um, or if you are just somebody who is going somewhere else and you're traveling with your casserole or whatever your side dish is, if you're making potluck, then that would be great too. We have lots of great gift ideas. Um, we have wine, um, what is it, the wine, what do we call them? Coasters and charms, wine coasters and charms, so those are really cute. Wine aprons, that's what I was going to say, bottle aprons, I call them wine aprons, you can tell. Listen, I can call them a bottle apron or I can call them a wine apron. We all know what we're doing with those. So they're really, really cute, but the wine coasters and charms, you can make an entire set. Um, we have great, some great options here if you're, if you're making anything at home. All right, so now I have a gift for you. This is the last part of the decorative stitching. Um, so let's do one more prize. So my next um, word is going to be gift card. Gift card, because that's what we're making is a gift card holder. So type gift card, okay? And we'll pick another $20 virtual gift card at random and see what we can come up with here. It is lots of embroidery. Madison just said it's working hard. Madison is our, um, works here at Anita Good Design. She is our social media, our marketing person. So she is actually somebody who shockingly doesn't really get on the embroidery mach machine. So she is always a little bit in awe over what we're, we're making here. So she said the machine's working really hard. These satin stitches are coming in. She's not used to this this machine moving like it is. This is why we love the embroidery machines. Crank them up, put them on a good speed and let them go, let them make our gifts. All right, get your gift card in. We're gonna pick our winner in just a moment. In just a moment here. Okay, and then after this, we're gonna get ready to work on the back of the hoop. So make sure you have your tape handy. We will not be successful with it without it. Do we have a winner, Miss Madison? All right, so our next winner is Frank Ward. You are our winner. Congratulations. So if you would please email customer experience and we will give you or get your digital gift card out to you. All right, here we go. A little bit more, a little bit more, chop, chop. Here we go. So make sure, again, that you all spread the word about our live stitch out on Tuesday. Uh, we really enjoyed having so many people join us. All right, we ready? I'm ready. Back of the hoop. So now I have to take my hoop out, okay? This is my front of my hoop. It's looking beautiful already. And now I'm going to work on the back of it, okay? This part is important. So you're on the back of your hoop here. Now I'm going to take my piece of fabric. I have one piece of fabric for the back and it fits the entire, over the entire part, okay? So I'm going to, I know it's hard to see, but I will show you here. I have my placement stitch. I'm taking my fabric and I'm placing it completely over all those stitches and I'm going to tape it in place, okay? I'm going to tape it and then I'll show you how I taped it. Now the tape is important because working on the back of the hoop, if you've never done this before, I know people get nervous, we're gonna put our hoop back in the machine normal. So you're gonna have that fabric on the underneath of your hoop and you wanna make sure it's nice and flat because I always say, Murphy's Law, if it can pull and get caught and you not know, it will, right? That's how our projects go sometimes. So I'm gonna add my tape. Now I just put tape on the top and the bottom, okay, and I'm going to show you my super secret tr trick to smoothing. My hoop's down on my table like normal, and this is what I do. Just smooth it, okay, make sure that tape is down flat, make sure your fa fabric's down flat, because again, when I go to put my hoop in, I don't want my fabric to catch and pull down, because sometimes it happens and we don't even notice. 
So now I'm going to be very careful, okay? And I can see my pink tape on the top over here. I can see my pink tape on the bottom. And my fabric looks like it's in there the way it's supposed to. Fingers crossed. All right, so now the next stitch here is going to be a tack down stitch. This is tacking my fabric from the front to the back, all right? So it's just tacking it down, nothing crazy here. All right, again, the most important part about this is that that fabric is smooth, the tape is smooth, and it does not catch underneath. Now, there's also going to be, during this tack down stitch, you're gonna say, whoa, 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 there's gonna be these little notches that come in. So it's gonna go around and tack it down, and it's gonna go notch, notch, all right? That's supposed to do that. And you know what I'm doing is I'm tacking it in white thread, but I'm going to actually, me, so that you all can see this, I'm going to run this step one more time. I want to back it up because I want to run it in a dark thread so that I can show you what it looks like. With the white thread, you at home can't see this. You don't have to do it. You don't have to back your machine up. I'm going to do this just so that you can see it when I take it out of my hoop. Because again, if I show you with white, you're not going to be able to see it. Okay. That was my camera woman fail there. I should have been thinking. There we go. So I'm just running that tack down stitch one more time. Again, you don't, don't have to do this. I'm just doing this in a different thread color so that you all can see it. All right, I want to be able to talk about this and have you all see it. See, there's my little notch. You can see on that camera, it's going to eventually do that over here too. You'll see it kind of go boop, boop. And there it is, notch. See, now we have little notches over here. Which is great. So what are those notches for? I haven't even explained that. I just told you the notches are coming in. That's going to show you where you're going to place your um, elastic. And that elastic is what holds in your gift card. So let me show you the one that's already made. Okay, and I'm actually, do you mind putting it on the zoom zoom? I want to show you through here. So this is the elastic because that's where the card's going to go in. All right, so that's what, I, that's what those little notches right here are for is to show you where you're placing your elastic. Now, I'm going to take this out, okay? Look at everything stayed flat. What I now need to do is trim out all of my excess fabric here. So let's do that. Am I skipping? Am I supposed to attach? Let me see. Okay, so let's attach. Before I trim, before I trim, I'm going to attach my elastic. Now, in all honesty, does it make a difference if we, had, if we trim and then add the elastic? I don't think so, but I'm going to follow the directions because I don't want any oopsies live on TV. So. Now we have our little notches, and what my directions tell me to do is to take my elastic and place them so those notches are in the middle of the elastic. So I'm going to place my elastic, So, and my elastic is elastic-y, it's kind of bending, so I'm going to need more tape to hold it down in place. And I want my elastic, of course, to be straight. So we're going to really, again, smooth, smooth that tape down. Make sure my elastic is straight. Now, when you place your elastic, your tendency is going to be to pull the elastic taut so that you can place it straight. But you really don't want to pull it too tight because then you risk when it's time to put your gift card in there. If it's already stretched tight and you pull it even tighter, you risk pulling it out of that tack down stitch. So you just want to do the best you can with eyeing up that elastic so that it's straight but not pulled tight. Any questions, Drea? Do we have any more questions coming in? Okay. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. I always feel like it's good if I don't have too many questions because I must be explaining myself well. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Here we go. Putting this back in. So now what's going to happen is you're going to have a tack down, a little tack down on each side for that elastic, okay? So we're going to have that stitched down. And I can actually 
see my elastic stretched a little bit past so I know it's on straight. Thank goodness, this is always like my most fearful part. So we don't wanna get all the way through here and then have a mess up. But that's always easy to pick the stitches out. If it does kind of unstick from the tape or it's a little bit crooked, you can easily um, use your seam ripper. I know we don't, don't like to use that. Um, all right, so let's see here. My needle needs to be changed too. So you get to see me do that live and on air. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So here we go so that you can see. So my elastic is attached as well as my um, back fabric. So everything's all attached at once. And what I'm going to do as well is I actually have to change my needle. So while I change my needle, it's, it's looking sad. It's exhausted. We use this machine a lot here. Um, what we're going to do is, is while I change my needle and trim, because I have to do all the things at one time, is we're going to do another gift, because why wouldn't we? So let's type the word needle, since I am changing my needle. Okay, type the word needle, and we will pick another winner for our virtual gift card. Let's see here with my 7511s. 7511s. Just triple checking. Oh, thanks, Miss Linda. Miss Linda said I was doing great. There's, there's nothing that makes me more nervous than a, than a good old needle change in live air. Okay. A lot of needle comments come in and type in needle for that gift card. Okay. Let's see, hopefully we are good here. Okay. I think we're okay. Fingers crossed on that one. We will know in a minute. All right, ladies, do I have a winner for the needle? And gentlemen, I'm so, I, well, when I said ladies, I meant you two ladies. <laughs> yes, do I have any ladies or gentlemen winners? Miss Donna Branton, you are our winner. Congratulations, Miss Donna. I am excited for you. You can use that gift card towards either your wild eyed critters quilting collection that is 50% off until Sunday, or you can use it to purchase, if you haven't already, your holiday extravaganza, because everybody needs that collection. How often we change the needle? So, wow, you're really calling us out live on air. All right, so best practice is to change it after every project. If it's a major project, that's that's best practice. Here at Anita Good Design, we <laughs> are, as you all can imagine, constantly running these machines. So we let the needles tell us when it's time to change them, like now. So as I was stitching, my needle took a little, little detour and kind of bent a little bit. And so it said to me, I heard it. You all couldn't hear it because it was on, wasn't on the microphone, but my needle said, now you need to change me. So, so don't always necessarily follow what we do. You just follow the rules. Okay. Now I am trimming, again, trimming all my fabric out. I'm also trimming out the um, elastic here. So you're going to have a little part where the notch from the elastic, the tack down of the elastic, also tack down your fabric, which is fine. You just want to trim around it. Okay. And then we're going to wind a bobbin, which I've already done. And I'm going to have a beautiful satin stitch in red. Okay. Let's see if I can clean this part up a little bit. Snip, snip, snip. All right. Do we have a winner for needle? Did I call somebody already? I did. Look at, hello, we're here together. 
Today, I said, to, I said to my other lovely camera person that today is the most Monday feeling Tuesday ever. Or Tuesday feeling Monday? No. Most Monday feeling Tuesday ever. All right, so it's our satin stitch time. I'm going to take out my white bobbin and I'm going to place my red one in here. If it will allow me. There we go. Okay. So I have a red bobbin that I already pre-wound. Now, if you don't want to wind a bobbin to match, that is fine. What I would suggest doing is just using a red, I'm sorry, a white thread, and it would match your white bobbin, and it will look like you wound a bobbin to match. So you can take a look here. You can see I've trimmed everything out. My elastic's attached. My elastic is trimmed as well, and we're good to go. So let's get stitching. Let's all hope my needle is feeling okay. Let me put my red thread in. That would have been something, huh? If I would have left my red bobbin in and forgot to change out my green thread. Would have been definitely a Christmas look. Okay. See how we do. Sounds okay. We're going, we're cruising. I changed my needle. I think we're good to go. All right, so let's talk about all the things that need a good design. Let's talk about what's going on in house. This is gonna take a couple minutes to stitch, so I have some time with you all. So we have so much going on in a need a good design. We have a lot of new things um, that are coming up. We have some new videos for you. And obviously you all are here with us right now through YouTube. I would say that YouTube is one of our biggest new adventures. Um, it was just, we had a lot of requests for a different platform other than Facebook. And while I, I know that YouTube may be new for some of you all, um, it really has been a seamless transition for us. And it seems really for you all as well. Um, if you've joined us prior, Sometimes we have issues where, with Facebook where we are live streaming, we're teaching live classes, and then all of a sudden it kind of goes down. Um, so we just had some, some technical issues and we wanted just to bring you a better kind of presentation and product all around. So we've been using YouTube. Um, and so the best thing to do, because we are also creating so much more video content, not even just live content, but a lot of video content, and we post everything on YouTube. So what's really important and when you go to a Need a Good Design YouTube page is that you follow us. There's going to be a little button over to the right hand side that you can click. I believe it's a bell. Um, and when you click that, what you'll receive is an alert every time we post a brand new video. And let me tell you, the amount of videos we have been creating, woo, we've been doing some fun things. So for our all access members, each month, uh, we have been posting a video about two weeks prior to re you receiving your new all access and we do what we're calling a flip through. So you all get to have a little sneak peek as to what's in those all access magazines prior to you even having it. Now if you're not an all access member, that is okay. You're going to want to watch that as well because not only do we break down what all access is, but those collections and designs that are in the new and upcoming All Access are sold individually. So you can pick up those collections when the new month starts as well. Now, of course, our All Access members are receiving those at about an 80% discount. So, you know, it's really a good time to sign up for All Access. Speaking of All Access, I told you we had lots of things going on. If you have not heard if you have not read our emails or you haven't seen any of our advertisements, we right now are running a special where you're all access, you're, when you sign up the month of October, anytime in the month of October, you're gonna receive a 13 month free. So you're gonna pay for 12 months, but we're gonna give you a 13th month free just for signing up in October. So if you are signed up for all access, if you're currently a member and you want to take advantage of that sale, then just go ahead and go to our website or go to your dealer, sign up for all access. And whenever your current membership ends, then we'll just start your next one on top of that. So we'll never send you two of the same. Okay. We'll never send you two of the same months. 
we would never do that to you so we're going to send it and start your new membership once that one ends all right so that's something really fun going on we have an all access academy thursday thank you what time is that two i think it's usually 2 p.m for the all access academy but that we're going to really explain and break down what all access is how to sign up for it it's at 2 p.m 2 p.m eastern time um but we'll we'll give you a lot of great information so if you're new to us and you need a good design you've never heard of all access before then that's your opportunity so join us at 2 p.m and we'll explain in great detail everything you get in all access the different costs how you receive them if you're new to digital we're going to talk to you about how to did how to get the designs digitally too so it's a great time to join us 2 p.m eastern time it is the all access academy we have a huge binder sale going on right now so our anita's universities those are the classes that we come in person and teach and travel all around the country. Um, we have those on sale for $75 right now. And it's 201, 301, 501, and 502. Those are the universities we have for sale for $75. It's incredible. It really is. Incredible. Okay, I'm going to change my thread one more time. I'm um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to live life on the wild side. I'm keeping it red just keeping it red it looks great even though it's on the white I, I want a contrasting satin stitch so this is what we're doing but yeah so those binders are $75 again those are the four curriculums that we have it is a physical product so when you buy those you're gonna receive from us a binder with what we call I call it the guts which is all the paper information all your education and a USB with all of the designs on there too they're absolutely wonderful um, 201 is our quilting collection our quilting AU 301 is next level embroidery and then 501 and 502 are both in the hoop projects very similar um, idea in the hoop projects with what we're doing here do we have any questions ladies anything Oh, we're loving YouTube versus Facebook. I love that. Okay. Well, that is a great compliment because we were nervous about that. I'm telling you, I know you all think sometimes that we make changes. Someone wanted to know, already mentioned. Okay. The wine bottle. Oh, that wanted to know for the wine bottle. Miss Selma, we have a collection called Bottle Aprons, right? Celebration Bottle Aprons. Um, Celebration Bottle Aprons. It's a project collection and they're really cute they have little uh, little sayings on them and it kind of has like a little you add a ribbon for the neck and then a ribbon for what I call the belly of the bottle you can tie them on they're great they're great for decorating your bottles at home they're great for for hostess gifts as I mentioned before celebrate I think they're called celebration wine bottles project collection cute 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 what other other any other questions love YouTube Love your all access. We love that. Oh, there's a fall sale going on right now too. I was just told we have so much stuff. Uh, what is it's the fall fifty? Fall fifty is your coupon code. Fall F A L L five zero. That's your coupon code for fifty percent off our fall collections. We have so much. We have so much for everybody. <coughs> Lovely. I'm sorry. You can tell I've been talking a lot today. For those of you that have seen me in class, you know I like to chit chat. <coughs> All right, perfect timing because my project is just about done. So I will save you from having to endure me coughing on air. All right, here we go. Now, my embroidery is done. So that was roughly a 20 minute stitch out a court. Now, that doesn't count any of my trimming and taking the hoop out and stuff, but it's an 18 minute stitch out. I'm gonna take it out of my hoop. Okay, we're all done at this point. I'm gonna do a couple cleanup snip snips. Snip one, snip two. Here we go, but look how cute this looks. It's really beautiful. Yeah, but we're gonna show you in the hoop first. So Madison's gonna get that good close up shot for you. Oh, I'm glad I kept the red. I feel like that was a good decision on my behalf. So this is the front of it. Yeah, it did. It came out really nice. The girls here are saying how cute it is. 
Okay, so this is the front. I want to show you the back. Okay, so you can see I have my elastic on. See, this is where I was going to change to white. I'm glad I kept the red. I like that contrast. And actually, it's nice because you can see, oop, I'm backwards. You can see my buttonhole down here. All right, now. I'm going to pop this right out. I'm not going to do any sewing or anything like that live because you all are, I know you don't want to watch me hand stitch anything live. You'd be all sleeping. Woo, that's the struggle. Okay, now, again, I'm pulling this out. I just need to do a little cleanup on my edges. Now, let me give you a little tip and trick here. So, you know, with if you're using tearaway stabilizer, you tend to get all these little fur, little fur babies over here, right? These little, and it drives us bananas. So what we use here at house is we take a flame tool. I like to use the candle flames because they're longer than, than if you were to use a lighter. Um, and you just want to get close to them and it'll singe them all off <coughs> for you. Oh my goodness. Now, you would fold this in half <coughs> and line up where your buttonhole is and that's you want to mark it with a little marker and that's where your button would go so you know where to sew it and then of course for your buttonhole okay you would just fold it in half snip that open and voila you have these great gift card holders so these ones already have the buttons on it's like baking bread pull it out and look at my bread is all done my buttons are on all right and then look how cute this is open it up and you can put your gift card in there what a great homemade customized gift well thank you all so much for stitching with me today I hope you feel accomplished because you have at least one gift ready for the holiday season to gift out all right hopefully you have your gift card you can always put your significant others credit card in there that you use to buy your own Christmas gift and then give it back to them. <laughs> I love it. That's the best idea. Don't forget, you have your wild-eyed critter quilt. Again, normally $69.95 on sale for $34.95, 50% off till the end of the month. And then go ahead and snag Holiday Extravaganza Curriculum Workshop. Okay, this is normally $99 on sale for $34.95. We're going to stitch all October's um, live stitch outs from this curriculum. Now we do have a premium plus collection holiday extravaganza and that one has many many more projects. Great Christmas projects. If you get the extravaganza, the big guy, okay, just know that these projects are in there too but otherwise you want to go ahead and scoop up your embroidery workshop curriculum. This is the one, the curriculum is the one that's on sale for $34.95. The big premium plus is not is not that that discounted. Nice try, my friends. Nice try. All right, so next Tuesday, join us again, 1.30 p.m. Eastern time for our next live stitch out. But please, please join us this Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and join us for our All Access Academy, where we break down all things All Access. Thank you, everybody. Happy October. You know you will see me again. I appreciate everybody coming. Have a wonderful West. West. 